I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on probability. Here we have one of the most popular questions, the birthday question. The question here is, find the probability that in a randomly chosen group of n people, exactly three will have the same birthday. So <clears throat> we will provide a general solution since we are taking n people, right? And exactly three, these are keywords, will have the same birthday. So let's see how to solve this general question. So that will actually help you to solve any question relating to exactly one person from the group, two persons or three persons. And then taking help of these solutions, we could also say, uh, when will they have more than three, at least three? So those questions can also be answered. Let's try to understand. What is the probability that in a randomly chosen group of n people, exactly three have the same birthday? So here, first thing is to make a choice of three persons, right? from a group of n, right? So from a group of n persons. Now choice will be nc3, right? So that is what we get. So we select three out of a group of n. How many combinations can you have? nc3 is the total number of combinations we can have, right? Now, we need to choose the probability of their having the same birthday, right? So now, we say, which days can they be chosen from, right? So now we have to choose a day. So now we have to do a choice of a day, right? Which day? So in all, there are 365 days, right? So talking about probability, so in all, there are 365 days. So the denominator will be 365. But what we have done for the first person, you can choose any of the 365 days, right? For the others, it has to be the same day. So what you get here is 365 times one times one divided by 365 cube, correct? So that becomes the days chosen for these people, right? And then what else? For the rest of the people, so, so that is how you're going to approach. For rest of the people, how many are remaining? Now remaining are n minus three, right? So remaining n minus three should have birthdays on different days. Correct? Excluding the day already chosen, right? Excluding the day already chosen, right? So that means excluding the day already taken when all three have the same birthday. Do you agree with me, right? So that is now we have to look for the other people in that group, which is n minus three people, right? So as far as the probability is concerned, for all of them, all of them denominator is to be 365. But the numerator, for the first person out of that n minus three, it could be 364 days, right? I mean, 364 days, correct? One, we have already chosen. So 364 over 365 is the probability of this. For the next person, it will be 363 over 365. I mean, and so on. The last person in this group is 365 minus n minus three, right? Because this is first person, 365 minus one, right? So here it'll be 365 minus n, capital N, minus three, correct? For the last person. 
365. There are n minus 3 persons in this group. Perfect. Now that could be written as, so we could write this as 1 over 365 to the power of n minus 3 times. Now we could simplify this expression as 365 factorial divided by 365 minus n minus 3 factorial. Okay, so we get all these terms 364 times 363 times so on till this particular term. Is that clear to you? Correct. And now we can write down our final answer, which is we want to know probability that exactly 3 have same birthday. Perfect. So it is which is going to be the product of all this. That is to say NC3, right? Times all this, which is 365 times 365 cube times this, which is 1 over 365 to the power of n minus 3. Of course, you can combine this and write 365 to the power of n, right? Which I'm not combining, but keeping them separate, it helps us to understand how we derived at our result, right? So, and then we have 365 factorial divided by the factorial of 365 minus n minus 3 factorial. Okay? So that is how you could get the solution of this. Now if n is for example 10, 15, whatever, you can substitute that value here, calculate the answer and get it. right. So I hope that makes sense. So these are the steps which should be adopted to find solution to similar questions. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and share my videos with your friends. That would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.